Hello everybody, Go Away here, bringing you yet another episode of Ace Academy. As usual guys, if you're new to the series or new to the channel, highly highly recommend you hit that link in the description below or in the annotations above to go to the playlist and start from episode 1. Now, if you just missed the previous episode, just hit the previous button and go to the last episode that I uploaded pretty much yesterday. So without further ado, now that the introductions are out of the way, let us continue with the game. Last time we left off, we were talking to Yuna about her tennis matches. She's explained to us about all the opponents that she can potentially face in this tournament. He's also left-handed. Left-handed. I definitely feel a, uh, uh, an Echizen. Is this name Echizen? Ryota? Ryo I can't remember the guy from Prince of Tennis, okay? Basically, I feel like that's the vibe I'm getting from it. And that means... I should have worked harder on my backhand. Mmm, I see. Yuna's very, like, deep in thought about this kind of stuff. So it sounds like those few are the only real challenge here. That's only as far as I know. There may be some hidden diamonds nobody knows about. You'll do great anyways. I doubt there will be any surprises. Just keep your head in the game. Keep your, keep your, keep your head in the game. Gotta keep your, keep your, keep your, keep your head in the game. I'm very bad at singing, guys, if you haven't noticed. Gotta keep my, keep my head in the game. Alright, so... I think you'll do great anyways. Well, even if they are, you don't have to worry about them. I've seen firsthand what you can do, and I know you win this thing. She blushes. Thanks. Spectators are being ushered to their seats as the organizers announce the first matchup. I think if you ended up with Yuna during the scene, she actually hugs you. As in, you chose Yuna to be your, your love interest for this whole run. I mean, yeah, that's fine, I guess. I better go... I better go so I can claim a good seat. Yuna nods. The first few rounds are between students I don't know. I half hardly watch the matches as they all kind of bleed together. I'm just looking through my phone here. Oh, don't mind me, guys. Uh, oh, yeah, I'm recording. Sorry. I wasn't paying attention. It was only half hearted. <laughs> Finally, Yuna's first match is up. I sit up in my seat and wave as she walks onto the court. She smiles in acknowledgement. Her opponent is a random student I don't recognize. I settle back into my seat. This will probably be, eh, this will probably be a quick match. As I predicted, Yuna demolishes the poor guy and wipes the floor with him, just as I predicted. Soon the second round of the matches begin and Yuna is pit against the first year team league player. He scowls at Yuna, but she seems undisturbed. In the end, Yuna demolishes him too. He stomps off the stage as I cheer along with the rest of the crowd for Yuna. When she's matched with the girl from the tennis team, the two of them nod in respect for each other. Yuna grips her racket tightly. A look of concentration replaces the smile on her face, no, on her opponent's face. They're more evenly matched, I assume because they're used to each other's style and know each other's strengths and weaknesses. Although Yuna claims to be out of practice, she still comes out victorious with a two-point lead. Whoa, she beat the girl! Finally, the two remaining contenders, contenders are Yuna and the third year captain of the Ace Team, Ace Tennis League. Even from my seat, Yuna seems to tower over him, but he's unfazed. I mean, he's short, but that doesn't mean he's bad at the game. Also, man, this is gonna be an interesting match. They ready their rackets as Yuna gives the first serve. Just like when I played against her, her racket connects with the ball in a resounding crack. It speeds across the net in a blur, but her opponent seems to be waiting for the ball and easily returns her serve. They continue to volley the ball back and forth. I lean forward in my seat, holding my breath. He strikes towards Yuna's left, and her backhand misses. The audience lets out a collective gasp. <gasps> Their match is the most engaging as the two of them dart across the court. They are tied, and this last point wins the match. Ultimately, Yuna misses another backhand, Backhanded strike, and her opponent is named the victor. Ah, oh, <laughs> Yuna lost! What I do like about the writing here is they didn't make Yuna win. Now, it's not to say I didn't want Yuna to win. Believe me, I wanted her to win. But I like the fact that she doesn't have... What's the word I'm looking for? Like that wish fulfillment thing where, oh yeah, I'm cheering for this awesome girl character who's my friend. And because she's the she's the, she's the character that's that's a friend of the main character, she has to win. That kind of wish fulfillment stuff, I, I don't like it. So, 
thank you, writers. You, you've done a good job on this, and I recommend you. <laughs> I'm talking about you, Katie. I race back down to the courts. Yuna and the captain are speaking, and as I approach, I catch the tail end of their conversation. Did you try out for the league this year? Yuna shakes her head. No, I was focused on my studies and was worried the league might be too much of a time commitment. No wonder I haven't seen you play before. I'll admit I was really impressed by your skills. Ugh, are you hitting on her? You should try out for the league next year. I'm so... positive you'll make it onto the team. Oh, sorry about that. Uh, <gasps> Ryoma Echizen, are you freaking kidding me? I was right? <laughs> Prince of Tennis right there, guys! I just noticed the name! <laughs> Yuna smiles politely. Well, I know what I'm naming this episode. Prince of Tennis. <laughs> Thank you for the offer. I'll definitely keep that in mind. I hope you do. He glances my way, then politely excuses himself. Hey, Yuna! She whirls around to face me. Oh, hey! You were great out there. Thanks, but I didn't win. Aw, you don't have to look so sad. I mean, he was the captain, and you did say you needed to practice your backhand more. So think of this as a learning experience, and, you know, start working on your backhand. As one person once told me before, the, the best time to start working on something was 20 years ago. The next best time is right now. Right here, and do it. No, but you and the freaking captain of the tennis league were neck and neck for the majority of the match. I know. I thought she would finally realize just how impressive that was and crank a smile, but she frowns instead. Ugh, if only I'd practice my backhand. I know I could have beaten him in his smug face. Is Yuna just very competitive? He didn't sound that smug to me. Uh, wow. I knew Yuna was competitive, but I had no idea she was this competitive. Try to calm her down. I've never seen this side of you before. Let her vent. <laughs> Should I call her out on it? She's kind of cute, but I'm gonna call her out on it. I didn't know you had it in. <laughs> I didn't know you had it in you. Had what? Salty Yuna. I'm not salty. <laughs> you are totally salty. You're so salty. You're giving me high blood pressure. Yuna raises an eyebrow. How long did it take you to think that up? About three seconds. Too long. Well, it looks like everyone is leaving. Yeah, we should probably leave too. I'm going to go to the lockers and shower. Thanks for coming out again. I would make a very in you know what? I'm gonna make the inappropriate comment now. Hey, can I join you in the shower? Eh? Eh? Okay, guys, I'm gonna stop now. This is so bad. Way out of character. No, maybe it's not out of character. I don't freaking know, guys. You know me better than that, right? This was fun. Uh, actually, I, I want to repeat that line. <clears throat> this was fun. She smiles. I'll see you later. All right. I say my goodbyes and we head our separate ways. My phone vibrates in my pocket. When I go to answer, I see show is calling me. Hey, show. Rosa, I'm so glad you picked up. I need your help. Okay. Are you okay? No, I'm in dire need of assistance. I swear to God, if you're pulling a prank on me, I will end your life. Much quicker than Carrie would. What's going on? Do you have any experience buying a gift for a lady friend? Uh, is it for my you? <laughs> uh, we all know your lady friend is my you. <gasps> I was right. There's no answer for just a second, then Sho speaks. It still feels kinda surreal. Really? I mean, she kinda was really open about it. Like, she was so open about it, it was radiating from her. I get it. So, does that mean you'll help? I can't leave my bro hanging. Sho sighs in relief. You are the best bro if a bro could have. Come meet me at the mall. Yeah, no problem, man. I'll be right there. You know, show you're lucky I like you. <laughs> Not in that way, but I like you as a good brosif with like another brosif. I hang up the phone and head to my bike. Then I drive directly to the mall. 
After I park, I see Sho waiting for me at the main entrance. He greets me with his usual goofy grin, but his hair is de disheveled, 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 and there's worry in his eyes. Thanks for meeting me. I don't even know where to start. Suggest jewelry. Suggest stuffed animals. Suggest chocolate. Suggest books. Man, I wish there was something like music related here. Alright, books. Mayu loves reading, right? Yeah. How did you know? Yeah, how the heck did I know that? I always see her reading when she's waiting for our team meetings to start. Oh yeah, I guess she does do that. Dude, pick up the hints, man. You should get her a new book. Maybe something that's just come out. That way, you know she hasn't read it yet. I think she'd like that. Show nods. Good thinking, Brosif. Let's go. Yeah, no problem, bro. I always got your back. He heads the w he leads the way to the store. What is this gift for anyways? It's our one month anniversary. Oh, Medito! Yay! I'm a weeb now. Congratulations, by the way. Wow, time sure flies by fast. You're celebrating every month? There's no such thing. I'm going to say time flies by fast cuz I'm actually happy for him. And I believe that um, the voice actor for show, what's his name? Kanoe? Konoe? What was his name? Ah, oh, god dang it. It's like right off the tip of my tongue and I can't remember his name. <laughs> what was his name? Ka Ka Kanono. Ka Kanano? Yeah, Kano Kanono. It's K-A-N-O-N-O. -N -O. I believe he had a girlfriend in the past that was kind of reminiscent of Mayu, so it was kind of like close to his heart when he played the role. Has it been a month already? I feel like it was just yesterday that we fought May's team. I know, me too. Time seems to pass in a click, doesn't it? I've never heard that saying before. Anyways, congrats on your one month. Thanks. I'm actually kind of surprised by how it happened. How did it happen? It came out of the blue. Mayu and I were hanging out as usual the Monday after our match with Onabugeisha, and I could tell something was on her mind. When I asked her what was wrong, she blurted out a question about feelings. It was so unlike her that I was too shocked to speak. Mayu didn't even hesitate, and she started talking about how she's liked me since we were kids, and she wanted to know if I felt the same way or if I was into someone else. Show laughs! I guess she saw me walking home with Hitomi and thought we were dating. Silly, right? Wait, he told me? Was she the girl who was about to call like security on us when we invaded Kaori's dorm? Yeah. She all looks sheepish. I started laughing as soon as she said that, and I know I embarrassed her, but I couldn't help it. I just couldn't believe what I was hearing. Really, dude? Really? As if I could ever like anyone else. I blink. Really? Well, yeah. Why do you sound so surprised? It was obvious how Mayu felt about you, but you never seemed to notice. Yeah, we all thought you were just dense in the head or something. Show's cheeks flush. I noticed. Of course I noticed. Are you sure? You sounded like, well, you seemed like you didn't. Then why? She's so smart and pretty and awesome. She's way out of my league. I don't know, Brosef. You're pretty awesome in your own little way. Although you are kind of a secondary character, I still like you the way you are, man. She was head over heels for you. It's still hard for me to believe that. Huh. I guess he really doesn't have much self-confidence, even though he always seems to be brimming with it. That's why this gift is so important. I see. Well, let's definitely do a good job at picking her out a gift that she will love and she will enjoy. No wonder he seems so agitated. Mayu will love whatever you get her. The fact that you're buying her a present at all will make her happy. Show smiles worriedly. You think? Of course, man. Of course! Still, it has to be perfect. I nod. On that note, we better get back to searching. Anyways, guys, we're hitting close to that 15 minute mark, so I'm gonna end it here. Thank you all for joining me. If you liked the episode, or if you like the content I've provided today, please hit that like button as it helps me a lot. And as usual, if you want to see my future content or my future uploads as I do upload every single day, highly, highly recommend that you hit that subscribe button so you keep up to date with all my latest uploads. And last but not least, thank you all for joining me, and I will see you in the next episode of Ace Academy. Bye-bye, everybody.